Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Jill here from Ask a Vet Tech. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to set up an incubator so that you can hatch your own baby chicks. I am going to use the incubator that I purchased off Amazon. It is a 12 egg incubator that can be used for chickens, ducks, or quail. I decided to purchase this particular incubator off of Amazon because it fit into the description of what I was looking for. I wanted a 12 egg incubator that I could use for quail. I wanted one that had bottles for water for easy humidity control. And I also wanted one that would automatically turn the eggs for me. This one fit all the bill. And this incubator came in at $80 and had really great reviews. So let's get setting it up. The incubator arrived in this box and I was excited to see what came with it. As I opened it, the first thing I found were these instructions on how to use the incubator. I noticed how nicely it was packed in both foam insulation on top and bottom so that it didn't get cracked in delivery. You're gonna to wanna to save these pieces of foam. I would recommend saving the whole box just so that when you're done incubating, you can put it right back in the box it came in. And this is what it looks like right out of the box. Everything is right here and ready to set up. These little yellow caps go onto the water bottle and fit down into the square holes on the side of the incubator. Now we'll go over the rest of the parts. This is a plug-in. You'll need to plug it into the back of the incubator hood. This is how it gets power to the unit. So make sure it's plugged in well and not wiggly. If it comes unhooked, it could reset your incubator back to day one, which is inconvenient. Also, if it's not getting the correct power, you might not have good hatching results. When you flip this over, you'll see this little silver thing here. And this is what is going to monitor the temperature and the humidity inside of the incubator. Now on the top side, you will see this weird hole. It is an egg candler where you can set eggs on it in a dark room and to see the internals of the egg and watch development of the egg change over the course of the incubation time. All this other stuff will display once it's plugged in. There are buttons right here that can set the temperature, the humidity, and how many days it will take to hatch your egg. This dial here is used to adjust the humidity inside of the incubator. If it gets too high, you open it up. If the humidity drops too low, you just close it down. This part is 100% manual operation. Okay, now for the bottom portion of the incubator. This tray is the rotation tool. It will auto-rotate your eggs. Next up is the base plate where you're going to set the eggs on. This has holes in it, and they're actually like little square holes that allow the humidity and the temperature to travel through the incubator evenly. Next is the bottom plate that catches all the broken eggshells as they start hatching. These two squares here are where the water bottles go to hold water. There's an A slot and a B slot. To start with, we're only gonna use slot A. This is just a demonstration of how it fits into the slot. Water can flow into these two reservoirs, which keeps the humidity evenly throughout the incubator. We are gonna fill up one bottle of water. So grab a bottle and a lid. Let's go fill it up with room temperature water. Now we're gonna remove the incubator hood, put the bottle in the slot, only slot A, just fill one bottle. I sped up this footage so you didn't have to watch that whole tedious process. It'll feel much slower than this video. It'll stop filling and stay at the level until the water starts to evaporate. And then it will continue to keep the water at that level the whole time. You may need to monitor the water level throughout the hatching process and add water to ensure it stays at the correct humidity throughout the hatching process. We're ready to put the base plate on. Circle side up, make sure it sits down inside the grooves. And then next will be the rotation tray. Now it's time to run a test for the turning part of the incubator. Get all your settings set and warmed up before you put the eggs inside. So just press the plus button one time on the incubator, it should run a cycle rotation. If that did not work, make sure your lid and your hood are correctly seated because it might not work if it's not totally closed. After that, we'll be setting it up for the type of eggs that you wanna incubate. For me, I'm doing quail eggs. Setting the temperature, you will need to press the button and look at the display. It will start to flash in the area that's being set. I'm gonna put the incubator at 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit and then set the humidity. Remember, this is manually, so you just turn it on and then you adjust the little dial at around 55%. And next is how many days you're gonna be hatching eggs. 
I'm doing quail eggs, so mine's gonna be set at 18 days. These times differ for hatching. Whatever you're hatching, chickens are 21 days, ducks are 26 to 28 days. Just set it for the certain type of bird that you're hatching. Then next, ask how many rotations you wanna set. It depends on the eggs again. I went with one rotation every 60 minutes. Inside the instructions, it'll tell you how to set that. If the humidity and temperature are too high, you will either cook the egg or put too much moisture into the egg starting out and it will fill the air sac of the egg, resulting in death of the embryo before it ever has a chance. And now we wait until the incubator is up to temperature and then we'll put our eggs inside of it. Candling your eggs before incubation is a really good idea. When you candle an egg, you're looking to see if there are any cracks or any holes in the egg. If there are, they should shine really bright and you should be able to see the crack very well like this. If you have any cracked eggs or eggs with small pinholes in them, it's just best to not try to incubate them. They're almost always not viable. If you end up trying to incubate them, they create a bacteria that it can kill all the rest of the embryos before they ever hatch. The candler that comes with this is a little bit difficult to use because the LED display screen is right in the way. It's right in front of the candler. So when you put the egg on the candler, that LED screen stays lit up the whole time. If you have all the same colored eggs, you might wanna put a little mark on them, marking them with a marker or a colored marker even. You can keep track of the development of the egg that way. And if on day 14, you're not seeing any development, it's time to get rid of that egg. It's time to add the eggs. Once your eggs are all in their own space inside the rotation piece, place the hood on and make sure it's setting down snug. It was pretty cold when I was running my incubator and I wanted the very best outcome. So I set the whole incubator foam on the bottom and the piece on the top. Now that your eggs are all inside the incubator, we're just gonna have to wait. That's the hardest part for me. I hope you consider purchasing this incubator for yourself. I have really enjoyed using it. I think it has great features and I will link it below in case you guys are interested. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, I'm here for you. You're here for your pets. Have a great day.